Rod Nandy Golf here, here to talk about using the driver. If you're just starting golf, one of the most important clubs, and just want to talk about a couple very simple basics you can work on as you start out this game and learn to hit this driver. All right, let's get right into it. Don't take my word for it. Here's a short clip from Ludwig Oberg talking about his keys to hitting a good driver shot and what he observes in a lot of recreational players. Give it a quick watch. I love to hit the driver, but I see a lot of angers. You definitely want to hit up on the ball. I see a lot of angers and kind of go down and you get this little spin flare flight. So I always try to tell people that try to hit it as far as you can, hit up on it, and make sure you hit the center of the face. One of the things he talks about in that video is hitting up on the ball. And in general, recreational players, that is what we're going to want to do. We're going to want to hit up on the ball on the driver to get this thing launching into the air and getting a strong carry out of it. Now, one of the, a couple of very simple setup basics that you can do to get you to just naturally hit up on the ball is play this ball fairly forward in your stance, off your left heel, even just off your big toe, something like that, experiment with it, but play that ball forward and tee the ball up. You'll see this ball here is easily teed with most of the ball showing. So one thing that you can do to just promote an upward strike is play the ball forward in your stance and tee that ball up. And honestly, you're just starting, just work on trying to hit it as with as much controlled aggression as you can. You don't wanna get all crazy, but with as much controlled aggression as you can, and you'll find out what your good tempo is, just experiment. Maybe it's a quick tempo, maybe it's a slower tempo, but just try to hit it with as much controlled aggression as you can and hit up on that ball. The other shot that you can work on with the driver to give yourself a little bit more control and almost like a go-to fairway finder as they call it, is put it just a little bit back in your stance. Not a, not a lot, maybe like a club head back of normal. Put it a little further back in your stance, grip down on the club an inch and a half or so. So it makes the driver shaft shorter. And when this is teed lower, you'll see this driver head, it is covering the ball completely. That's gonna encourage a little bit more of a downward strike, but sometimes that gives you a nice controlled kind of pinch shot that'll just get it out there and get there and play. You might find that useful as you're just starting out in golf. All right, so our first shot here, we got ball position forward and we got it teed up high. And we're gonna try to launch this one. We're gonna try to hit this on the upswing. All right, so now we got the fairway finder with the driver. We got the ball position just a little bit back. We have this teed a lot lower. So my driver's virtually covering that ball. I'm gripping down on the club and this is gonna come out a lot differently. This is more of a go-to kind of controlled shot. And it's typically going to come out a lot lower and you might find a little bit more control with that type of shot that you could use from time to time. Hope you find those things helpful. You can work on that driver shot of launching it high in the air, hitting it on the upswing, and then that other kind of more controlled grip down kind of fairway finder type shot with the driver. I think you'll find both of them helpful as you're just starting out. Again, thanks for taking the time to watch. I know I'm a small channel. We'd greatly appreciate it if you hit subscribe. We'd love to have you along for the journey. Thanks again.